Streaming from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 4 p.m. Digital Edition. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 22 News at 4. I'm Ciara Speller. We'll get to those top stories we're working on for you in just a moment. But first, a look at the local roads and what's going on outside. We have 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Brian Lapis. Always a pleasure, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real smile. Absolutely. I love working with you. You know, today is an office ice cream day. Oh. I highly recommend the Oreo ice cream sandwich <laughs> that's in the freezer in the break it's room. It's good weather for it outside, right? Pretty hot out there. Certainly is. Uh, high <laughs> temperatures, uh, pretty close to 90 right now. Let's, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. We're putting the cart before the horse. <laughs> I digress. Let's take a look at traffic first as we sit here and sweat together. Uh, Mass Pike is looking good. No problems here. There's a little bit of construction near Palmer, but it doesn't seem to be slowing things down. And I-91 from Sunderland to Longmeadow and the Connecticut state line is also running fine. I-391 and 291 also moving smoothly at this juncture here in the afternoon. Let's take a look at our 22 New Storm Team forecast. The heat advisory has been expanded to include central and eastern Hamden, Hampshire, Franklin County, and also now northern Berkshire County. Uh, this goes until 8 o'clock tonight. Actual temperatures right now are close to 90. We're actually, in terms of uh, actual uh, air temperature were cooler today at this time than we were yesterday, but the extra humidity is certainly making it feel more uncomfortable. Uh, it's all relative. Regardless, it's uncomfortable out there. 90 right now in Greenfield and Westfield, 88 Springfield, Northampton and 87 in Orange and the dew points are well into the seven. In fact, you've got a 79 degree dew point in Greenfield. That is more or less off the charts uh, for this part of the world. And as you can see here, we're keeping an eye on um, the western parts of western Massachusetts for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So far, so good. Not much happening, but there could be an isolated shower or thunderstorm here through the evening hours. I have better news for tomorrow. We'll track it with our 22 News Storm Team Skycast. The Hamden District Attorney's Office has confirmed a person died in a shooting on West Street in Holyoke early this morning. Police Lieutenant John Monahan told 22 News it happened just off of Mosher Street. Our 22 News crews arrived at the scene around midnight. We saw a number of police cruisers in the area. They were seen tagging evidence on the road, including shell casings. Both West Street and Mosher Street were closed while they investigated. The identity and number of victims and perpetrators is still unknown at this time. 22 News will provide updates as soon as information becomes available. Court cases continued in Eastern Hampshire District Court today for protesters who were arrested at UMass Amherst back in May. A total of 130 people were arrested after refusing to abide by the university's demands to remove their tents and barriers during a pro-Palestinian protest. So far, four people who were arrested accepted dispositions to their cases by agreeing to a four month diversion program, which means that if they stay out of trouble, the charges will be dismissed. The 16 people in court today will be back September 16th for time to consult with their attorney. Three men were arrested after allegedly dis distributing drugs in an East Springfield neighborhood. Officials say they've been investigating drug deals in the areas of Fernwald and Baldwin streets for the last two months. On Tuesday, they witnessed two possible drug deals with three suspected suspects involved. Rather, they were eventually seen in an SUV around 5 p.m. and were arrested. Officers found drugs and cash on each person, along with a loaded firearm. All three people faced drug and firearm charges. And the contempt of court hearing for Michelle Traconis has been continued to September. She's accused of displaying a court sealed document on her computer during her trial for her role in the disappearance and death of Jennifer Farber Dulos. The document was said to re reference a psychological evaluation for Farber Dulos. Draconis was sentenced back in May to 20 years in prison, suspended after 14 and a half years served. Now let's bring back in 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Brian Lapis for a track of some of those 
heat numbers out there, heat index I see up there you have. Yeah, I was feeling guilty that I didn't show this to you earlier. So here we are with, uh, this is what the air feels like with the actual temperature and the humidity combined. It's a, uh, it's a, a number that we use, so we do a little bit of math, ma mathematics to uh, figure all of this out. And 101 with the heat index in Northampton and Westfield, 97 in Springfield, 93 in Orange. So obviously you want to take it slow in the heat here this afternoon. We still have the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. They'll be few and far between, but if we get a thunderstorm or two, much like we did yesterday afternoon, not everybody saw one, but there were a couple of strong thunderstorms here uh, yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening. So if you have outdoor plans, while any showers that we see through nine o'clock will be few and far between, there is that chance. Keep an eye on the radar on the 22 News app on your mobile device. And then overnight, some scattered showers. There might even be a rumble of thunder. Here we go. Watch from midnight to 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. A couple of scattered showers. And now looking at the new information here, it looks like most of tomorrow, if not all of it, will be dry. In fact, partly to mostly sunny. Slight chance for an isolated shower here tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. Temperatures back up near 90. We'll talk about the upcoming weekend on 22 News at 5. Trending today, Celtics guard Derek White has been named to the U.S. Olympic men's basketball team to replace Kawhi Leonard, who pulled out early this morning. That will turn the duo of Boston players on the roster into a trio, with Drew Holiday and Jason Tatum already on the squad. Leonard's withdrawal appears to be injury-related, as USA Basketball released a statement saying his team, the Clippers, determined it was in his best interest not to compete. White played for Team USA at the FIBA World Cup in 2019 and was a finalist to make the Olympic roster in 2020. A beloved movie franchise will make its return in 2026. After 16 years since the last installment, Shrek will welcome us back to his swamp in Shrek 5. DreamWorks announced that this week. The all-star cast will return Mike Myers and as the ogre himself, Eddie Murphy as Donkey and Cameron Diaz as Princess Fiona. It's the first time Shrek's film since Shrek Forever after that was released in 2010 and will bring back the director who led work on Shrek 3 and 4, Donkey's Caroling Christmas Tacular and Puss in Boots, The Three Diablos. Now for a look at what we're working on for 22 News starting at 5. New renovations are coming to Hubbard Park in Springfield. We see how these changes will benefit the community. And Dakin has opened New England's first kitty ICU. We'll take a look inside this new facility. Plus, Japanese beetles are making their way across the state. Find out how to keep these pesky bugs out of your garden. Traffic moving along just fine. We got uh, smooth sailing on I-91. You can see here from Waitley to Long Meadow, we're in good shape. Mass Pike also moving freely. I-391 and 291 also moving fine. Details on the weekend's weather, actually weather for the second half of the work weekend, the weekend on 22 News at 5. All right, Brian, thank you, and thank you at home for joining us this afternoon for 22 News at 4. You can join us on TV tonight starting at 5. You'll get your local news, weather updates anytime, though, on WWLP.com and the 22 News mobile app.